Hey guys, welcome to another video. If you're new here, I'm Kelly, and today's video is another pass grab or undecided. If you're new to my channel or new to my pass grab or undecided series, this is my spinoff of Samantha March's Will I Buy It videos. So I always have Samantha listed in the description box down below along with her whole community playlist. So if you like videos like this where we're talking about new makeup releases, new makeup products, and I will let you know if I'm going to pass on them, if I want to grab them, or if I'm a little undecided, if that's your style of video, check out the community playlist and you can see all kind of content creators who create videos like this one. So it's been a while since I've done this. I had my 12 days of makeup going on in December, so I wasn't really talking about new makeup. And then in January, we had our whole month of nothing new, so I wasn't talking about new makeup. So I am finally here to talk about the makeup that is releasing, new makeup products, and I'm gonna give you my take on them and let you know what I think about them. So why don't we go ahead and jump into the video. Okay, I did scoot over just a touch so that I can include pictures of what I'm talking about here. Some of these releases have already been released and I know that people have been talking about them for the past week or two and then some of these just popped up. Now I do film on the weekends so by the time this goes live I'm sure there will be even more new makeup releases but these are the ones that I have to share with you today. Let's talk about a few that I know people have been talking about and that have already released. First of all, Let's talk Pat McGrath. Pat McGrath added some new additions to her Divine Rose 2 collection. She did bring back the Divine Rose 2 with the pink metallic packaging. I know that some people have been dying to get their hands on this limited edition packaging. I think this palette is not limited edition. You can get it in her traditional black packaging, but the pink packaging. That is limited edition, so she brought that back. It was very popular the first time around, and I know that there were people who, who missed out on it and they were very upset about it. But the new items that she brought are a new Lux Quad in Eternal Eden, which again, more of the rosy pink shades. Then you have the new Skin Fetish Ultra Glow Highlighter in Metallic Radiance. You also have some matte liquid lipsticks. You have a matte trans lipstick. There's an Ultra Glide Eye Pencil, Ultra Lip Pencils, a Dark Star Mascara. All of this released, I know a lot of people were talking about this release last week and the week before, but for me, these are all passes for me. I have not gotten my hands on Pat McGrath. I know one of my girlfriends, Yaddy Beauty, did send me one of the holiday quads, but I haven't actually tried any of her like Divine Rose. I haven't tried any of her larger eyeshadow palettes. And while I am very intrigued, I am very intrigued by those special shades. I want to know what all of the hype is about. I want to know more about Mama Pat, but I just can't get over the price tag. The original eyeshadow palettes are $125, her large eyeshadow palettes, and then even the quad that she's coming out with is $58. So for me, it's the price that holds me back. I would want to purchase these during a sale, and there's not a sale going on right now. And on top of that, I'm on a low buy, so I did pass on everything. But if you picked any of these items up, let us know down below what you think about them. Another release that has already happened that people have been talking about is another another fancy lady, we have Natasha Denona. Natasha Denona did come out with her mini love eyeshadow palette. It has these pinky purple tones. It looks beautiful. I know a lot of people were asking for this because she does have her love palette. And so I know there were people who wanted a mini love. Now they have that. She also came out with the Love Cheek Duo. So it's a cream blush from the Diamond and Blush Glow Palette in the shade Daria and a new shade of the highlighting powder. Now I love my Natasha Denona highlighters. I have the I Need a Nude Glow and I have the one in Fair, the Super Glow. I love her formula. I think it's amazing. She also has an I Need a Nude lipstick, a new shade in Amorosa and I mean, I think it looks beautiful. The packaging is beautiful. I love the Natasha Denona products that I have, but for me, I'm just not into 
like the pinky tones. I tend to reach for more warm tones. I do love my glam palette. That is a cooler tone. But when I think of eyeshadow, I don't typically reach for more pink tones. So that's part of why it was easier for me to say that I wasn't interested in the Pat McGrath collection and also why it was easy for me to pass on this Natasha Denona. So I know plenty of people got their hands on it and they were very excited. But for me, both of those were passes. Now you may be saying, Kelly, are you going to pass on everything? No, I'm not. I am on a low buy, so I am limiting myself to three new products, but I don't want to pass on everything, okay? MAC Cosmetics released their Spring 2020 Black Cherry Collection. Now most of the products here are passes for me, so I'm not going to run through everything. However, the blushes. I want to get my hands on one of these blushes. I was watching Charlotte Holcroft's video and she called these blushes something, but I don't see it on the Trend Mood website, so I don't know the name of this style of blush. Now in the picture it does look like there are five shades, but on the Trend Mood 1 Instagram page, it only lists four of them. Room to Boom, Warm Light Apricot, Look Don't Touch, Coral Apricot, Dilly Dolly, Light Pink, and Under My Plum, Plummy Pink. I'm not sure which shade I want. Honestly, this is something where I kind of need to see swatches. I, I need to maybe see it in person. If I can see it in person, I don't want like a coral orangey blush. I tend to like more like pinky shades or neutral shades. So I'm not sure which blush I want yet but I wanna get one. Also on the Trend Mood One Instagram page, it just says coming soon. I know it's available in China, it's not available here yet, but that's what I have my eye on. I think the packaging is cute. It's nothing that like knocks my socks off. I do know that I'm almost done with my MAC Fix Plus, so if the MAC Fix Plus in the fancy packaging doesn't cost extra, I would pick it up, but again, the packaging isn't what's really calling to me, and I will be passing on all of the other products, but I do want to try one of those blushes. I did see that Dominique Cosmetics released the new transition palette and Kristen Dominique, who is the founder of Dominique Cosmetics, did post a video and it was a really cute video of a bunch of different larger Instagram and YouTube people, I guess content creators, and they were all using the palette and so they would like grab it from above and drop it below. The video was really, really cute. This palette does look nice. It looks like it could be a transition palette or something that you use for everything. This palette is $48 and it looks like you get 15 different shades. They're all mattes. And I think... It says on the Trend Mood Instagram page that this is an everyday go-to eye and face palette. So you can define, contour, brighten, highlight, create endless looks with these 15 long wearing blendable matte pigments. I think that Kristen Dominique was trying to kind of create a palette that you could like do a full face look with. You can use them to contour, you can use them to bronze, you can use them on your eyes, but I think this also is supposed to be a palette that you can use in conjunction with other palettes. So whether you have like shimmery singles or just another palette where you wanna reach in for the shimmer shades, this is supposed to be one that can be complementary to another palette. For me, this is a pass. I do have the Latte palette and the Latte 2, and I really like the formula. I think Dominique Cosmetics does have a great formula, but I just feel like, I feel like all of these shades I already have in my collection. It's just your typical, like you got everything from the light shades that you can use for like your under eye or for highlighting to deeper shades. You have some red tone, you have some cool tone, you have a black in there. It does look like a great palette, maybe for someone who doesn't already have a large collection or even for someone who has a ton of singles or has a ton of duochrome shades. I know those are all the rage right now. This would be a great complimentary palette, but for me, in my collection, it's just not something that I need and it would be very repetitive. I'm also not someone who likes to go in with multiple palettes for an eye look. Okay, my earrings are just gonna keep doing that because these ones don't have backs. I'll, I'll get that in a minute. I'm not gonna edit this out. Y'all, I'm having a day. 
I'm having a filming day. I know this is going to be a beast to edit because I'm already making mistakes. So we're just going to leave that in here. But anyway, for me and my collection, I don't think this is something that would be a good addition to my collection because like I said, I don't reach for multiple palettes. I am like a one and done. I want to grab a palette. I want to create a look and I want to move on. So I will be passing on this one. But I do want to say, I do like the Dominique Cosmetics formula. So if these shades look like it's something that's right up your alley, if you're looking for a palette where you could do your full face and your eyes, if you're really into mattes, then I think that this may be a good one for you. Let's see how many more times these earrings fall out. Because I, I just don't have the time to keep editing that out. So we'll just leave it in there. Now, I love me some Makeup Geek. I love me some Makeup Geek. I don't know which video is coming up first, this one or my 21 tags video, the, the 21 question tag created by Allie Glines. I'm not sure which one's going up first, but in that video, if you haven't seen it yet, I did mention that my Makeup Geek eyeshadow singles are the product that I've had for the longest in my collection. I love the Makeup Geek formula. I do have some of her newer formulas since she like re- I don't know if it's like reformulating or just like a rebranding. I'm not sure, but I did pick up some of them. Seems like the same great quality, but now she has an extension effect mascara. This launched at the end of January and it's supposed to be cruelty free and vegan. I don't see a price for this mascara. This is one where I kind of have my favorites. I have the mascaras that I love. I'm not really one to like branch out and try other mascaras because when I do get other samples of mascaras, if it's something that I don't like, I don't reach for it. I look for volume. I want to look like my, lash my lashes are false eyelashes without having to actually wear falsies. So this is a pass for me. I'll be interested in hearing people talk about it. I mean, to say if I got it in an influencer, I wouldn't be excited would be a lie. I would like to try it. I just, at this point in time, like being on my low buy, I don't want to go out and purchase it. If I saw it at Target, I might grab it, but I haven't seen Makeup Geek at my Target. This isn't something where I would make a purchase online to get it, if you know what I mean. So if you've tried it, let us know down below what you think of it. I, When you say extension effect, I feel like more lengthening, and I look for more volume. So I will be interested to hear people's thoughts, but I'm going to pass on it for now. Also, Kylie Cosmetics, the, well, I guess it's not Kylie Cosmetics. Kylie Skin is its own branch of Kylie Cosmetics. So Kylie Skin has a new mini set, an eight-piece mini set, which has her vitamin C serum, vanilla milk toner, face moisturizer, foaming face wash, coconut body scrub, coconut body lotion, mini eye cream, and mini walnut face scrub. This just released. It's supposed to be a special for Valentine's Day, and it's $85. Now let me tell you, I have talked about Kylie Skin before and how I feel a certain type of way when makeup brands try to branch into skincare just because I, j I really go hard for skincare. I really like skincare and I really don't always feel comfortable when a brand who was known as a makeup brand dabbles in skincare. So initially I was like, no, I don't wanna try Kylie Skin, but I did take a double take. Like I was like, what? Because y'all know, if you've been here for a while, you know I love a good mini. I'm obsessed with minis. So one, the word mini caught me. But two, just like all of that, you get like a full set. You get moisturizers, you get toners, you, you get an eye cream, you get the works. I really had to tell myself Kelly no, because initially I felt like I wanted it. I was like, minis, yes, I can try them. I want to try them. But again, I don't know that I would love Kylie Cosmetics. It's not Kylie Cosmetics. I don't know that I would love the Kylie Skin branch of her company. I do like the Kylie Liquid Lipsticks, but I haven't loved the eyeshadows that I tried from her brand. So I'm gonna pass on it. I already have skincare products that I love that I've been using and just with my low buy, I'm trying not to make impulse purchases. So this totally would have been an impulse purchase where I got it for the simple fact that it's minis, but I'm going to hold myself accountable and I'm going to pass on it.
I do have to say, I was excited when I saw Makeup Shayla announce that she is going to be the new face of the Morphe Brushes Filter Effect Soft Focus Foundation because I do really like Makeup Shayla and I kind of haven't really heard anything not that I haven't heard Morphe come out with anything, but Morphe hasn't released anything that like caught my eye recently. They've just kind of been on the back burner. I hear about them. I see things released. I know some people feel a certain type of way about Morphe. I think that stems from their relationship with Jaclyn Hill and the way that they were kind of, Jaclyn was just like pushing everything and I know Jaclyn has become controversial. It seems like Morphe is going in a new direction now. They did release their new foundation, the Filter Effect Soft Focus. It's oil-free, skincare infused, and it has a natural finish. It's available in 40 shades and they're $20 each. I have to say, I'm a little undecided leaning toward grab. Undecided leaning toward grab. The way that they market it, hyaluronic acid, vitamin E, pore, pore blurring, skincare infused, natural buildable coverage. Those are all of the things that a dry skinned girl like myself loves to hear in thinking about a foundation and hearing that it's $20 that is more affordable for a foundation in my opinion and I like makeup Shayla. So I kind of want to try it out. It's not something that I'm going to rush out and purchase. It became available online at Ulta on January 31st, but February 16th is when you can get it on their website and in stores. I kind of want to try it. It sounds exciting, but I know that like I have a good amount of foundations in my collection right now. I know that there are some that I want to try that I haven't gotten yet. So that's why I'm like on the fence, undecided. Being on my low buy and knowing that I want to try things out, but also like, is it just going to sit in my collection? So I don't know. I don't know. A little undecided, leaning toward grab. So I want to know your thoughts in the comments down below. Is this a foundation that you have your eye on? Are you still not a Morphe fan? And if I did pick this up, would you want to see like a full dedicated review on it? Let me know in the comments down below and we're going to see in the next like week or two where I stand with my low buy and my new product purchases. We'll see if I end up picking this one up. I have just a few more products I want to share with you. The first one being a new collection by NARS. It's called the Uninhibited Eyeshadow Palette Collection. Is that the name of the collection or just the palette? It says Uninhibited Eyeshadow Palette. $49, 9 shades, matte and shimmers, and you get a face powder duo. I don't see a price for the face powder, so maybe that's $49 also. The packaging looks beautiful. I don't know that I've ever tried NARS eyeshadows. Now that I think about it, I don't think I have. I think I've just tried their face products. It looks beautiful. I really like the packaging. The eyeshadow shades look nice. The face duo looks nice, but for me, it just, it just looks nice. It just looks nice. This is something where if I really stop to think about it, I could easily see myself purchasing, purchasing it because of the packaging, but I really feel like it would maybe be a collection that would just sit. It would just sit in my collection and look pretty and not get a ton of use out of. So I am going to pass on it. If I wasn't on my low buy, I think that perhaps the packaging would be enough to suck me in and make me purchase it. I mean, not make me, but suck me in and influence me to purchase it. But for a $50 palette, just to sit in my collection, I don't really, I'm not really looking to do that. So I'm going to pass on it, but I want to know your thoughts. Are you going to pick it up? It looks beautiful. I want to see people using it. I want to hear reviews, but for me, I'm going to pass on it. Another one that I'm thinking may be a grab. May just be a grab. Jouer Cosmetics released a couple new primers. So first they have a matte primer. That wouldn't be for me. I have dry skin. The one that would possibly be for me is the Anti-Aging Moisture Primer. It's $34. It's a hyaluronic antioxidant treatment with peptides to help restore elasticity and reduce fine lines. 
So anything that says like hydrating, moisturizing, hyaluronic acid catches my eye. And I am almost done with my Laura Mercier primer. I do have several primers in my collection, but I have primers that do different things. So if you caught like my inventory or like my makeup collection where I was talking about my primers, you can hear a little bit more about my primer collection. But I don't think that if I purchased this that it would be like an overabundance of primers. I'm trying to keep my primers a little bit smaller just because, you know, I only have one face, like how much can I use it? But I think this is gonna be a grab. It's available now, I think maybe on the Jouer Cosmetics website. I'm not sure if it's at Sephora or Ulta, I'll have to check, but I kind of, I'm kind of intrigued. I am intrigued, this could possibly be a grab, but here's the thing. Even if I use my Laura Mercier up, I have other primers in my collection, so this would have to count as one of my three for my low buy. So we'll see. But I'm intrigued, I wanna pick it up. If any of you have it, if you've picked it up, if you've tried it, let me know in the comments down below what you think about it. And the last product that I wanna to talk to you about today is by Milk Makeup, and it is their new improved sunshine skin tint with SPF 30. So this is clean, it's silicone free, it's a skin tint, light coverage, moisturizes, dewy finish, SPF, all of the things. All of the things that we want. There are 14 adaptable shades. I like that they phrased it as adaptable. You see what they're doing there? That's how they got away with 14 shades. So that would mean that several different skin tones could use one shade, and that's probably because it is a skin tint, so it's lighter coverage. You can kind of get away with having multiple skin types under one shade. It's $42. This is a pass for me for a couple reasons. One, it's a pass because I'm just not that into skin tints, which is kind of surprising seeing as, I, I mean, I live in Texas, so the SPF catches my eye, and I like more of like a light to medium coverage, and I have dry skin, so you would think that a skin tint would be something that I would enjoy, but I really don't. I have not found a tinted moisturizer that I really love. I just... I'm kind of like, why not just go for a foundation, either like just do concealer or a foundation. That's kind of how I feel about skin tints. So that's one of the reasons why I'm passing on it. Another reason why I'm passing on it is it's $42. So I feel like $42 for a foundation, I can justify that, but for a skin tint, I kind of want you to be cheaper than that. And I have the Pretty Fresh line on my mind by ColourPop. I don't know if I want to try their tinted moisturizer or the foundation, but if I were to try a tinted moisturizer, it would be ColourPop and not Milk Makeup. So I'm going to pass on it. It looks interesting. The packaging component looks interesting. It, it looks almost like, I don't know, just like a thin tube. It looks like you pump it out. I like that there's a pump, but it's just kind of an interesting little component. So I'm going to pass on it, but let me know down below. Is it something that caught your eye? Are you into skin tints? If you have the Pretty Fresh Tinted Moisturizer, should I look into that? And are you looking into this Milk Makeup Skin Tint? <laughs> That is going to do it for this video. Those are my pass, grab, or undecided new makeup releases. Let me know your thoughts down below about any or all of the products that I mentioned. Did any catch your eye? Do you know for sure you're passing on them? Are there any makeup releases that I didn't talk about today that caught your eye? Because I know that I had flagged a few more on my Instagram. I like to flag the new releases and put them in their own little category and kind of like really think about them. And I use that obviously, to fill my past grabber undecided. So I know there are a couple products that I didn't talk about, new releases that I see that are out there, but I just wanted to share my thoughts with you. I'm really hungry. I want to go eat something, and I don't want this video to be a million minutes long. So if you did enjoy this, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I would love to have you subscribe, stay a while, be part of the K-Bella fam. That way, I can see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh.